and welcome to Medi's Tech Circle. So since my last videos, um, some time has passed. Uh, um, yeah, it has been a while, but now I'm back here with a new video. And in today's video, I want to show you how you can install the official Oreo firmware for the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So um, apparently Samsung has just released the Oreo update in the UK. Um, and for carrier for the carrier Vodafone in UK and Vodafone in Ireland. But um, here is a way how you can flash it with Odin um, manually on your Galaxy S7 Edge. And today I want to test out also a method um, I've read from a user on Reddit um, where this should or this method should um, avoid that everything will be wiped from your device. So yeah, let's dive in. So um, first of all, you need to download the Oreo file. So you need to download the zip file, which weights around 2.3 gigabytes. So for this, you can use the tool SAM firmware version 0.3.6. I have done a video about it. So basically you just open up the program, run it in admin mode. So uh, to be safe that everything will work. And um, then you will select the device name. So here in the top, the model number SMG 935F, for example, here um, for the S7 Edge. And the region is very important to select BTU for um, the UK unlocked firmware. Then you check update and then it will show up the latest update here down, which will be Oreo. Here you can see it says Oreo 8.1.1, uh, 8.0.0. Okay, so when you have downloaded this zip file, you will find, um, you will have to select first a destination where you want to save it. And then you right click on this zip file. So you need WinRAR and then you um, just um, extract all files. So you will get multiple files. The next thing is you will need Odin, but you will need Odin version 3.13.1. So um, that's a special version, which is able to flash all your firmware. Then I would recommend you to um, do a backup on your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. So um, yeah, that's important. Although I hope that this method I will try out will not wipe everything from your phone. But in case something go goes wrong, you should do a backup. And also I would just recommend this method just to users who know um, what they are doing and how they can solve any problems um, which could um, yeah, come on our way in this flashing process. So normally there should be no error. So yeah, what you will do is to turn off your device, of course. So let's wait. And this time we open up Odin in administrator mode. So this is also important because you need to open it up in administrator mode in order to flash a firmware. Yeah, so here you can see we have Odin. So now what you will do on your phone is to go into download mode. Um, yeah, the lighting conditions are not good, but um, just hold down the volume down key, the home button and the um, power on button until you will see this screen. So here you get it. Um, and then you will continue by pressing volume up and then you will get into download mode. So remember this is an official firmware and this will not trip uh, NOx and not avoid your warranty. So what you will um, need next is a USB cable to, um, to flash the firmware of course. So um, I would recommend to use the original one which came out of the box with your phone. So you plug it in and you connect your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with the micro USB cable. And then you should see um, a sign that your device is recognized. Yes, our device is recognized. So you can see that, that it says COM8. So this is the name of your device. 
So now what we want to do is we don't use BL. So the guy on Reddit said he flashed it with without BL, but just AP. So this is the biggest file. And um, yeah, that will take a while until it loads up. So um, search for the um, for the folder where you have extracted all these files and you select the file which begins with AP. So as I said before, this could take a minute. I'm back when it loaded up. Okay, so as you can see, the AP file is now loaded up. So you will see here the file is loaded up and um, it's now blue and you have a tick here. Okay, so now we continue with CP. This file won't take as long as the AP file because the file size is not that big. And then we come to the CSC file, but this time we don't choose the CSC OXA file, we select the home CSC OXA file. So the file which begins with this home in the name. And it's loaded up there too. So yeah. Now what we want to do is just start the process and hope that it will work. So let's start. Here you can see what it's flashing. So it's starting with the recovery, the system. And here on your phone, you will also get a progress bar. So let's just wait some time and hope that it works. So. Um, as I said before, in this um, method, we didn't select the bootloader, so it's not really a flash, a clean flash um, installation. If you want to do a clean flash, um, because you don't want to have some errors, or you don't, uh, or you want to begin uh, completely new, and um, yeah. You just have to select everything, BL, AP, CP, and here you don't have to select home CSC, you select the normal CSC file. We selected the home CSC file because um, this should not, um, yeah, not erase everything from our phone. But if you don't care and you want to have a clean flash, you can do this like I mentioned now and um, yeah, so I will also test out everything and see if um, if everything runs fine. And um, yeah, when <laughs> this method will not work, I will not publish this video, of course. But when it will work, I will. Yeah, it would be great because then you don't want or that way you will not lose your warranty. So, okay, now you can see that we are at the system point. So I'm not skipping this uh, because I want exactly to give you uh, yeah, a chance to see in real time how fast this process is. So normally it takes always up to two minutes to flash a stock firmware. And don't worry if the boot, the first boot up is a little bit slower than usual. This is normal. The first boot always takes a little bit longer. Also after like updates like these, which we are now doing here. So you can see it's now almost finished. Now flashing the modem, the cache and yeah, pass. So no error now. So two minutes, 28, it has taken to flash. And now let's see. So this is normal that you will see installing system update. So this comes up every time you flash a firmware with Odin. So just wait and let your phone do its thing. So now everything looks good. Um, yeah, in case something went wrong, we will notice that uh, when we are in a boot loop, for example, which we don't hope. So let's see if this method worked. So normally if something went wrong with the flashing process, you w wouldn't get this pass sign. You would get an error sign with a code. Okay, so now it's rebooting, it's vibrating. You can see the Galaxy S7 Edge, still a great phone in 2018. And now we should have the new boot animation. Yes, that's the new boot animation. 
so now until now everything seems to yeah to look good so far so let's see if the data was erased or if everything yeah um, is still here on our phone so that would really be amazing if you could flash this firmware without erasing your data and yes oh man this is amazing so here it my phone is on german but here it says that app uh, number 50 from 109 will be or is gonna be optimized so that's amazing so um, one thing i will notice is that um, i have the german unbranded version before so maybe if you are living in another country um, which um, isn't included in the OXA multi CSC, it could be that this method will not work and you will have to do a completely uh, clean flash to get really the, the UK CSC in order to get uh, Oreo to work. So let's wait until it's finishing up here this process. This shouldn't take that much of time. So if you liked also this video and found it amazing or useful, so it, I would really appreciate your su uh, support if you could subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave down a comment. Maybe someone also here, some subscribers from my channel will help you. And I will definitely reply to your question or request. And also if you have any, yeah, uh, if you want to see anything um, new on this channel, you can let me know and I will do a video about it. Okay, so the screen gets darker. Hmm, the screen is black. The screen stays black. So let's wait or see what happens. And yeah, we are in. Oh, I thought that uh, now uh, that everything was yeah <laughs> messed up. No, but we are. We have Oreo installed, so you can see that it's finishing up the Oreo update in the background. And oh my gosh, that's amazing. So wow, that's just awesome. You can see Oreo update here. So my pattern to unlock. I select my launcher. And oh my gosh, you can see we are running Android 8.0 Oreo on my Galaxy S7 Edge. So it could be that it's just a little bit laggy at the beginning because it's doing a lot of process here in the background. But look at this, it's definitely working. So I will now uh, show you that I'm running Oreo here, software information, and I'm running Android 8.0 Oreo with the Samsung Experience 9.0. It's also an official firmware because when I go to software updates and I check them, it should work. But yeah, this is really the Oreo updates. So amazing that this worked. Also my edge panels are here still with all my folders. So this is really nice. If you're wondering why this menu button is here, you can disable this by going into the start screen settings then to this uh, menu here and then you can deactivate this and you will just have here the ability to swipe up to go to the app drawer. So that's really amazing. So <laughs> now everything runs really nice. So I don't see errors. It could really be that in the first time a little bit that you will get a little bit of lag here and there but that's just really normal. So I can check also my CSC now. So let's see which CSC I have installed. And I'm still on my German CSC code. 
So that's nice. So amazing. That's really nice to flash this firmware without losing any, uh, yeah, anything or any data. So really great. So you can see also we have this new adaptive icons. We have this short, yeah, uh, the shortcuts should come up. Okay, they are not here. Maybe, uh, okay, here you can see that we have this shortcuts and some apps. So yeah, that's the Oreo update. So this is the Oreo update for the Galaxy S7 Edge and how you install it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I see you soon on the next video. Bye everyone.